Welcome to our proof of the derivative of f of x equals arctangent x. We'll prove the derivative of arctangent x with respect to x equals one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. To begin, we'll let y equal arctangent x. We'll remember that x would be the tangent function value and y would be the angle. And then it follows that we can rewrite this equation as tangent y equals x, where the angle y would be on the open interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. Meaning the angle y would be in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant. And let's model angle y using a triangle where we can say tangent y is equal to x or if we want x over one. And since tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side of a right triangle, using this right triangle, if we label this angle y, we can label the opposite side x and the adjacent side one. And therefore, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can determine the length of the hypotenuse would be the square root of the quantity one squared plus x squared, or just the square root of the quantity one plus x squared. However, one important thing to recognize when using this triangle to model the angle y given tangent y equals x, notice how if the angle y was in the first quadrant, then the tangent function value would be positive, so x would be positive. But if the angle y is in the fourth quadrant, then the tangent function value would be negative and x would be negative. But now using this triangle, notice how we can also say that sine y would be equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, or x divided by the square root of the quantity one plus x squared. We can also say that cosine y would be equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be one divided by the square root of the quantity one plus x squared. Now for the next step in our proof, we'll differentiate both sides of this equation here with respect to x. And notice how because we have an implicit equation, we do have to perform implicit differentiation. So now we have the derivative of tangent y with respect to x equals the derivative of x with respect to x, and the derivative of tangent y with respect to x would be equal to secant squared y times dy dx, and then we have equals the derivative of x with respect to x, which is equal to one. And now solving for dy dx, we would divide both sides by secant squared y. So we have dy dx equals one divided by secant squared y. However, since one over secant y is equal to cosine y, one over secant squared y is equal to cosine squared y. But remember, we already know that cosine y is equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity one plus x squared. And therefore we have dy dx equals one divided by the square root of the quantity one plus x squared all squared raised to the second power, which gives us our derivative formula. dy dx equals one divided by the quantity one plus x squared. And notice how for any value x, we're going to have a positive derivative function value which means if we take a look at the graph of f of x equals arctangent x, the slope of any tangent line will be positive and the function is always increasing. And let's go ahead and verify this before we finish. So here's the graph of f of x equals arctangent x. And notice how at any x value, the slope of the tangent line will be positive and this function is increasing over its entire domain or we can say it's monotonically increasing. I hope you found this helpful.